Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, good afternoon. I decided that I want to make a little break from my travel vlogs and to make an update of my life here in Warsaw to make sure we're up to date with you guys. I am going to continue uploading my travel vlogs after this video and then make, maybe make another break. We'll see how it's going to go. Uh, today is Friday and today my Portofino vlog is going to be live on my channel. I'm very excited about it because it was a really special day for me, you know. I, if you haven't watched this video yet, please go watch it because I really put lots of love in this video and this day was full of love. I One of my dreams came true. I visited this special restaurant in Portofino with um, one of the most amazing views in the world and that was such a great experience. So today is a Friday, it is summer here in Warsaw. It is hot summer right now. For Warsaw, you know, it's quite special the weather here sometimes in summer you have hot days and, and sometimes in summer you have plus 15 degrees celsius and rain and it feels like autumn or spring it doesn't feel like summer at all like just uh, last week we had some days like this but right now it's hot it is like 30 degrees outside so it feels like summer we're going to go out for a date tonight so it will be a nice start for this weekend i uh, plan to make this video kind of an update on my life get ready together and go on a date with us i'm going to take the camera with me go on a walk uh, go for dinner and just enjoy this evening so uh, what i've already done is i washed my hair and i haven't uh, styled it yet and i haven't even uh, dried it yet completely because there is something special about the hair that I want to talk uh, to you about but first uh, also I want to discuss makeup I've already done my makeup and I just wanted to show you some of the products that I used to create this makeup look at first I thought maybe I should do like a complete get ready with me for a date uh, video but I've already done one video on my channel which was like get ready with me and it didn't get lots of interest from you so I decided maybe it is too boring to film like the whole process of putting my makeup I don't know if you're interested in this please let me know and I might film a video like this again for you but generally in my makeup routine nothing really changed just depending on the occasion I use um, some products or I don't use some products and today my color uh, theme uh, would be pink I felt that my mood today would be pinky because of my outfit this is not my final outfit yet by the way this is like my home outfit uh, for the outfit at home I am wearing this a linen shirt from uh, Uniqlo I just love linen shirts from Uniqlo I think uh, their quality is really really good uh, this uh, top is from Stradivarius uh, but uh, this linen shop is from last a uh, linen shirt is from last year and this top is from this year's collection and also I have my pink fluffy uh, shorts from H&M I had them in my last uh, summer spring summer mass market haul video both the top and the shorts so you can see them there as well the outfit that i'm planning to wear today i will show you later on so for the makeup i decided to go for pink blush and uh, my favorite pink blush at the moment is this blush by dior it is a pinky blush really pinky one yeah you can see it on the camera this blush by dior is called um, uh, dior backstage rosy glow uh, 001 pink i've heard somewhere that pink blush is uh, popular right now i don't know maybe it is popular or fashionable i just like this pink blush if you are looking for uh, this kind of shade i'm recommending the one from dior uh, regarding i hope you can uh, see that i've also tried to do um, an eyeshadow with some pinky shades i don't know if it's visible or no anyway in order to use my in order to do my uh pinky eyeshadow i used my anastasia beverly hills uh, palette it is modern renaissance uh, palette it is quite old but it is a good one and it 
I really saw some love from me as you see I almost finished like some of the shades and I have two beautiful pink shades here uh, this is like dark pink this one called Love Letter and this one called Venetian Red. Here they are up close. I'm sorry for the dirt in the palette, but that is life, you know. Uh, anyway, these, these colors I really like for creating like a pink eyeshadow look. I use a little bit on my top eyelid uh, and a little bit at the bottom here. And I really like this look for summer days. I feel that... It is, it is fun and a little bit like flirty, romantic, something like this. So uh, the touch of pink in the eyeshadow, the touch of pink in the blush and I also use the pink lipstick. My favorite pink lipstick at the moment is this one from Chanel. I got it this winter and I use it quite a lot since. Uh, it was in my winter beauty haul video. As you can see I have this much left and up close the shade looks this way. And the color of this lipstick is 118 Eternel. It is a Velvet Extreme Chanel lipstick, a matte one. A really, really nice one. I really like the texture. I think if I see another shade of this lipstick which I like, I would buy one. Uh, with this lipstick, I used my uh, lip liner from MAC, Boldly Bare. I use this lip liner almost every day, I think. It is not pinky, this lip liner, but I really like combining the lip liner which is nude uh, with a pink uh, lipstick because then this pink lipstick doesn't pop that much. It blends in together with a nude lip liner very, very nicely. Uh, here is the shade. Also, what I wanted to mention is that uh, this summer I noticed that I really like nude lipsticks and I've completely finished uh, the only like light nude lipstick that I had. Uh, the one that I had was uh, Dior lipstick number 100. It was the perfect color of nude for me. And I wanted to get a new color like this, but from, from another brand. I just love trying new uh, things when it comes to makeup. And I decided that I'm gonna go for this super popular uh, nude lipstick, which is like everywhere, Charlotte uh, Tilbury. Pillow Talk lipstick, you know, they say everywhere on the internet that it's like the most perfect nude uh, colored lipstick and stuff like this, so I got it and what I can say about this is that the packaging is wonderful, it feels luxurious, but the color is way too dark, like if you are a light colored, um, light -colored skin uh, person this uh, lipstick is not going to be a light nude lipstick for you even though uh, right now I have some tan on uh, this lipstick doesn't look like a light nude for me it looks nice and I'm sure I'm going to wear it and finish it but it's not the light nude that I wanted it's not like a hundred uh, shade uh, uh, from Dior not at all so I will continue looking for that kind of shade in another brand. I think I would end up with MAC. I'm not sure, but I looked at some lipsticks in MAC, the Velvet Teddy, super popular one, and some others, and they looked nice, so I might end up with those. I think that is it when it comes to makeup, and now it's time to move uh, to the hair. Regarding the hair, I have something exciting, as I said. I have recently received uh, this beautiful thing uh, this nice box in a parcel and uh, why it is ex so exciting for me because for two reasons first because I literally thought about this hair dryer uh, like it would be nice to have it or it would be great to try something like this because I saw one uh, one blogger that I am following on YouTube uh, she had she had this uh, hair dryer uh, she bought it or she was gifted this hair dryer and she showed it on her channel and I I saw it and I really loved the idea of this product and I thought it would be amazing to try it and after this I had an email from this brand offering me a collaboration and 
I felt so happy. It was like a manifestation coming to life. And I'm also very happy because this is my first ever collaboration on my YouTube channel because before I used to do collaborations on my Instagram and on my blog. I have a blog dreamloveshop.com which I'm not uh, updating uh, at the moment but uh, on my Instagram and my blog I had lots of collaborations back uh, in the years when I used to be active on those um, social channels and uh, well then I just got my interest in other places I guess it just in Instagram didn't feel like my thing anymore and now I'm more active on YouTube and well this is my first ever collaboration on YouTube which makes me very very happy and this is exactly the product that I wanted to try without even collaborating with them so that makes me super happy anyway this is a Zuvi hair dryer it is Zuvi I think the right name is Zuvi Halo hair dryer I haven't uh, tried it uh, without you at all I have just opened the box but I haven't, um, so the box is white, it opens this way, but I haven't done anything with the hair dryer yet, so you could see uh, how the packaging looks like. So this white box, it was also packed in this gray paper uh, with Zuvi Halo Time to Shine hair dryer. Dry your hair with light care, ultra fast, ultra light, and finally good for your hair. Okay, I will first uh, show you the hair dryer and show you how amazingly it looks, and then I will explain why um, why they say it is supposed to be cool. So inside the hair dryer looks this way. Okay, I really like the way it is packaged. It is like so clean and modern, and it really rem reminds you of the Apple packaging. So here is the hair dryer itself uh, and here is the cord package like really like Apple and well I guess we will have to we will have to un open this paper it's easy you know when I first saw this hair dryer I was like Oh my god, it looks like a super complicated tool. I will have to study uh, the leaflet very attentively to understand how it works and everything. But I just briefly looked through the leaflet and it looks like everything is going to be quite simple. So here is the hair dryer. With this side, you are um, drying your hair. And you have three styling accessories. So um, the first one looks this way. All of them, all of these accessories are attaching on the magnet, so yeah, it's very, very easy to put them and take them off. So this accessory is for protecting your scalp, it is for more sensitive scalps, it is kind of diffusing the light and the air. So the first one was called gentle air attachment, this one is called styling concentrator. So this is a styling concentrator. And the last one is called a diffuser. I really like the way it gets uh, with the magnet. So, and this is a diffuser. I have never actually used this kind of uh, tool on the hair dryer. I never knew how you how you are supposed to use it. Anyway, and here we have the buttons. By the way. Uh, how beautiful is this handle? Uh, here we have some faux leather, looks quite nice. Uh, so there is um, just like two buttons, one is to turn it on and off and this button is to change between the modes and here we have four modes, care, fast, soft and style. So as they say care is for uh, sensitive um, no, care not for sensitive scalp. Soft is for sensitive scalps. Care is uh, like an extra amount of care for your hair to preserving like your hair in its best health condition. Fast is to um, 
dry your hair the fast uh, way possible and the style mode is for styling like when when you, you when you just dry your hair you're supposed to use care fast or soft and when you uh, when you want to style it like when you want to make it super smooth and straight or if you want to make it a little bit like beach curls uh, you put a tool like this one or this one and uh, they say in um, the instructions that uh, you are supposed to dry your hair until like 80% dry without the tool and then you put on this this one and you finish it it uh, you finish it and you style it so zuvia halo hair dryer is uh, first and foremost uh, is about healthy hair you know i haven't thought about the health of my hair while drying my hair like never ever in my life which was uh, for sure a mistake i used the simplest hair dryer uh, for all of my life and i just think i have i've had two hair dryers the whole of my life and i never cared about how bad it is for my hair but obviously this heat that cheap air dryer uh, hair dryers are um, giving to your hair is super damageable uh, and having a special tool to take care of your hair is a great idea so this hair dryer it is uh, using the lights to dry your hair their new nature inspired technology leaves your hair shiny and healthy how this light uh, care uh, technology works so the light is supposed to come from here I will switch on the hair dryer later for you to see the light so this light care technology uh, directly dries water on the surface of your hair with light energy and warm air lower temperature drying 44 degrees celsius uh, versus 60 celsius in usual hair dryers without sacrificing speed as they say retains over two times more internal moisture in the hair Lo locks in color and leads to stronger hair hair cuticles remain flat for enhanced smoothness and shine it looks super cool like uh, this hair dryer is supposed to help save the moisture inside of your hair and keep it healthy which sounds amazing and you know I've seen also a really nice TikTok with this hair dryer you know they took two roses exactly like of the same freshness and they took this hair dryer and they took a regular hair dryer and they've uh, put uh, on uh, the heat of these hair dryers on the roses and the one which was dried by the regular hair dryer got really like you know damaged and looking poorly and uh, kind of dying and the one which was dried by this hair dryer looks almost this almost the same like nothing changed about that rose which looks impressive so i have high hopes for this hair dryer so yes i will be beyond happy to be able to dry my hair in a healthier way and to preserve the moisture inside to keep it healthy for as much and as long as possible i am going to try to turn on this magic tool right now with you and to see how it works my hair i washed like a few hours ago so it is like 80% dry right now uh, I think I will try to dry it a little bit like this without uh, anything without any accessories and then I will put on a styling accessory and uh, try to straighten it up like to smooth it out because that is the way my hair looks naturally I washed my hair with an Olaplex uh, shampoo then I used Olaplex conditioner I really hope that all this care that I am giving to my hair is gonna be worth it because uh, like I have switched to using Olaplex shampoo almost every time I wash my hair and uh, to, now I'm going to switch to a good hair tool which I hope it's going to help my hair so I'm using a hair Olaplex shampoo then a conditioner and after uh, washing before drying my hair I always apply something to my ends and uh, in the last half a year I think all every time I use this one it is 
It is Olaplex number six, and before they used to come in uh, bottles like this. And the newest product that I got, it is in this kind of bottle, and I just love that they changed the, the bottle because when this one finishes, it is so hard to get the product from it. Uh, anyway, it is a bond smoother by Olaplex Leave in reparate, Reparative Styling Cream. Eliminates frizz, nourishes, and protects. So I used it on my hands and it is supposed to repair the split ends. Let's try uh, turning on the Zuvi hair dryer. I hope I have removed all of the stickers. A little reminder to, for not to forget to remove this plastic thing. I've just tried to turn it on with this plastic thing on. We have it. Wow. Okay. I don't I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear my voice when this hair dryer is on, so I will turn on the uh, mode which is called care right now. Uh, I hope you can see the beautiful light which is coming from the hair dryer. Uh, it feels very nice, you know. I have never used uh, other premium hair dryers, so I don't know how they feel. But if you compare this hair dryer to a regular one, to like the cheap one, uh, this is just something else. The feeling is so different. The heat is not. There is way less heat. Like you can keep your hand like this. And it, start, it will start burning only after some time. I mean, it will start burning, of course, but it's not that much heat. And it is, it is interesting, it is quite strong. I put on the styling concentrator and I switch to the style mode. And I will have to use my hairbrush. Uh, my hairbrush that I'm using all the time is a Tangle Teaser tangle teaser which looks this way I'm really not a professional when it comes to different types of brushes and especially those round ones you know uh, drying your hair with a round hairbrush is some kind of a magic trick which I never knew how to how to do in my life I have just one hairbrush uh, at home and one hairbrush in my bag and that's it so what I will do is just brush the hair through and then use the styler, styler tool. Okay. actually think that my hair looks th smoother than usually at the moment. I think you can see it on camera that the hair looks pretty shiny after after this styling uh, tool that I use in the end. My god, it is so like shiny and smooth. I really like it. I really like the way it looks. It feels. It feels really smooth. I will go see myself in the mirror if I want to. If I want to get more volume on the roots, and then I will continue getting uh, getting ready. So I will show you what I'm wearing today. Get dressed. Put on some jewelry and we will be ready to go. I think that this hair dryer is really like worth worth the try if it makes your hair healthier if it makes your hair look like you're just uh, left the hair salon I mean it's amazing that's worth a try and it just looks so stylish like some kind of a super high technology product not some 
something simple, you know. Uh, just let's give a minute of appreciation to my new slippers. I am so happy that I got a new pair of slippers. I didn't have um, nice new slippers here in Warsaw with me. I had an old pair of slippers which were like really destroyed. So I decided it's time to order myself a new pair. I went on the website, I saw that these were on discount and I was like, yeah, I want this bright color. I'm so happy they are on discount and they're so fluffy. These are from uh, UGG uh, or UGG. I buy all of my slippers and winter shoes from this brand. I think th they are just the comfiest really. Uh, shoes uh, out there where for home or for like winter cold days so these were my cute Ugg, um, slippers which really come in tune with my today's pinky mood I'm going to put on uh, my jewelry some uh, rings from APM Monaco then uh, that is a necklace from uh, APM Monaco as well this video is not sponsored by them. I'm just wearing uh, this kind of uh, jewelry quite often these days. Bracelet and some earrings. After I also have the perfume to put on. As I said uh, in the, I think it was one video and then also on TikTok I mentioned this perfume as well. That is my perfume of the moment, favorite perfume of the moment. The one that I'm using every day. It is a Christian Dior Eden Rock loving it so much but i will put it on after the um, after i put the dress i think and the dress which i'm having uh um, which i'm going to wear today is so special to me uh, that is the first dress which i uh, which i received from this brand i'm saying it uh, this way because I have already ordered another dress from this brand but I haven't received it because I ordered it just before the war started and I um, got that dress to my home in Kiev and it is there my parents picked it up and nothing happened to that dress every it is like they're waiting for me but I just got didn't get my hands to it yet it will happen one day but for now, this is the first dress from uh, this brand which I'm going to that I'm going to wear. This video is absolutely not sponsored by this brand. I am talking about this dress just because I really like it and I, and I ov like the brand overall. I think it is really cool and of course I would really be happy to work with it one day. So the brand is called Hill House. I haven't uh, taken the tag off yet. I received this dress uh, in the mail just today and I decided, okay, it is destiny for me to put it on today for today's evening. The brand is called Hill House Home. Uh, I think they are called home because at the beginning they were just doing things for your, uh, for your home like uh, towels and bathrobes and now they're doing dresses as well. And that is their most famous product called the nap dress which I have been looking at for quite a long time and well they have different shapes of dresses it's just I think this one is the most uh, popular and uh, for me it is, is it is the best this one is called the Ellie, uh, Ellie dress and uh, I think it's just going to be super comfortable because of the smoking you can wear a bra underneath or you can wear it without a bra it's going to be very comfy uh, the fabric is really like soft and nice, it is cotton and I think I'm not going to be too hot in this dress today, it's 27 or even 30 degrees outside Celsius. So I couldn't decide if I wanted to own a dress of this brand because I wasn't sure it is the right fit for me. These dresses are not, they, you know, this brand overall, it doesn't care about trends at all it doesn't care about fashion it just does whatever the founder of the brand feels like and I think that is so amazing that you can care only about how you feel and still be successful in in fashion business that is amazing I have been following actually I've been following this uh, founder of the brand way before I started following her brand on Instagram and it is her 
personality which inspired me to take a look at the brand and uh, well we don't know her personality but that's the way she shows herself online looks quite inspiring and her brand uh, attracted my attention and the way these dresses are made for women to be comfortable in and to feel cute in and not to care what is fashionable, what is sexy, what is trendy. That is the dress for you to be happy in and for you to be comfortable in and to do whatever you want. Like you can go uh, sleep in this dress, you can wear it as like as a nightgown because it's super comfy. You can go out uh, in this dress, like you can, depends, they have different colors so you can choose the dresses which would be more like evening-like, you can choose the dress which would be more like um, day kind of activity like or you can choose the dress without the print and then it would even be suitable for work so that is why I think it is so versatile so I chose uh, this print uh, for this dress because that was one of their like uh, summer collection uh, prints and that was one of my favorites I fell in love with this print when I saw the, the founder of this brand, her name is Nell, I think, when she was wearing uh, this dress with a sweater on her shoulders, like she had this dress on, then she had a pearl necklace and then she had a sweater which was light green color, like very light green, uh, he, tied up here on her neck and all together these ruffles, the light green sweater, uh, like combined with these green uh, leaves, oh my god, that look screamed spring summer, it screamed femininity but at the same time comfortable femininity, I don't know, I just felt like I want this print and I'm very happy with what I got, it is like a watercolor um, painted roses and it's really cute that this brand, it uh, pays attention to details because on the fabric if you look very attentively you can find some super tiny logos like 3HHH for Hill House Home okay I yeah I think you can see them right now and at the bottom when I was ironing this dress I noticed there is this tiny embroidered house which is I think it is kind of a logo of the brand Okay, you can see it right now, yeah, you can, uh, which is su super cool, like it is really an unnecessary detail, but it, it is important, you know, when, when you are purchasing a dress like this, it means you care about the things that you wear and you don't want uh, to have just another dress from Zara, which is, which doesn't have any personality to it and this dress it does have a personality and with all these details with all this attention coming from uh, the brand I think it is going to be a really great addition to my dress collection and I think I'm going to have lots of pleasure wearing uh, this dress this summer and the following summers so uh, the dress the size that I ordered for myself is XS. I hope it's going to fit me well, but I don't, I can't imagine how this dress uh, is not going to fit because the smoking is going to fit everyone. And then it is just nice fabric being quite loose. I think the length is going to be me midi. Uh, so what I will do right now is that I will dress, I will spray on my perfume, get the bag and we will head out and I will show you my full look when we are already out, I think. So that is my look for today. We just left our home and we are uh, next to our building. So all of these buildings are in the uh, part of the city where we live. It's kind of like a business center. That's why it looks so modern. And my dress doesn't quite fit in the environment, but I love it anyway. part about the dress are these ruffles I feel super feminine and cute today and we are now going for our evening walk and dinner so tonight we came to have 
hours in a, in a restaurant called Fridays. I believe this is the kind of restaurant you have everywhere in the world. We had uh, one in Kiev and now we're in the one in Warsaw and their menu is basically the same everywhere. And uh, the thing that we love there the most is their uh, signature sauce, the one with the whiskey. But also I love their mozzarella sticks, I love their chicken wings and their burgers are amazing. We've ordered um, a few of the dishes and everything tastes amazing. for myself this little cute teddy bear in the suit of a bunny and also got this cute little thing for our cat her birthday is coming soon so we'll send it to her it is very very soft soft i hope she's gonna like it Walks. The weather is not too hot and not too cold. We had an amazing uh, dinner and now we're walking around the old town of Warsaw. Maybe we'll find something uh, to eat for dessert, maybe not, but we will enjoy this walk for sure. These buildings are so beautiful and it's hard to believe that they were built only recently because all of the old town of Warsaw was destroyed during the Second World War, but now it looks just stunning. The streets of the old town of Warsaw and almost everywhere there is live music and that's so beautiful. 